All right, we're in the RV. Today we're working on, I'm installing these gas struts on the back of this uh, TV door I made. So just to give you an idea, we, we didn't have a TV here. This just had double doors access to this uh, to this cabinet here. So we want to add a TV here. It's actually pre-wired for a TV. See in here there's a 12 volt source and the coaxial, the cable outlet. So what we did is I fashioned the hinges. I reused the hinges from the doors to this basically a wooden panel here. So it's a wooden panel and the TV is secured to it. The TV is sitting more, uh, well, closer to the bottom, so this can open. If you see here, there's an overhang that needs to be able to open there. So we want to be able to support that when it's open to have access to that storage, to that compartment here. Now, one thing I, I considered when looking at a TV for this is this has 12 volt source, so it's not a you know a 120 outlet. So a 12 volt TV would have been a good option but there's no, there's no plug in here. So yours might be different. Mine just has a 12 volt only power supply in here. And the reason I went with a traditional 110 power TV, this is a Vizio, it's a 24 inch TV. The reason I went with this one, I tried a 12 volt TV in here. The problem with that is because there's no power back there, I couldn't run like a Amazon Fire Cube or a like a Roku stick that those all need to be plugged in I don't have I'd had to I'd had to use an inverter anyways so this has a, this is a smart TV it has the apps already built into it and I figured it'd be much easier to just use the TV use one inverter and not have to worry about separate power so when this is plugged into all to the antenna so for cable or over the air to TV or and it has all the apps on it you know like Netflix Hulu, Disney Plus, you know, etc. Amazon, etc. So we have access to run all those. So it's got a few viewing options. So that's why we chose this. Now, uh, this is just on a piece of plywood. I just stained it, uh, you know, close to the same color as the, the as the other cabinets here. But if you see, it's just hanging from the top. This three gets you a little. It just takes those little. Uh, you know, you just drill those holes there, and then you put the the hinges there. I, I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it to where the hinges were on this side, and it was gonna open up like this. But there just wasn't the clearance. I needed a lot more clearance here for this to be able to for it to even open up 90 degrees. So this way, you know, there's more. The, the TV's wider than it is tall, so you have act, you have that. You know, it probably has a you know three four inch gap up top. And it's sitting level with the bottom. It swings nicely here. So this is a 24 inch Vizio TV. And then it, if you can see it, it clears there. So this, this cabinet door can actually open up about 90 degrees, which is just right. Now I have access to this full cabinet and I have the TV in here installed. So I'm gonna put those struts on. All right, we got the hinges installed. They're pretty simple to install here now it's uh, held up very easily on its own so we got easy access to this compartment here uh, these you can find Amazon eBay these are you know five six bucks so these are pretty cheap to do so this is a pretty easy modification that you can do to your uh, RV if you have this kind of setup where you have a TV pre-wired for your your bedroom which we did uh, so now we're all set to go the only thing we'll do is We'll turn the inverter on and off. Like if we're not going to use a TV, we'll turn off the inverter so it's not draining the battery. Turn it on when we want to watch the TV. Uh, I did install these little, uh, these little like kind of uh, foam pads just so it's resting on those. So when it, so when it comes down and shuts, it's resting on that. It's not going to rattle around. Uh, so we're all set to watch TV. So thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.